Hello everybody. Today I'm going to do a collage and this is a ghost print that I had done um, in my previous video. And since these are leftover uh, traces of paint on the jelly plate. As you can see, they're a mixture of all these leftover paints. And uh, here I've made a rough layout of the pieces. Uh, these are pieces of um, tissue paper and copy paper which I'm going to assemble on this piece. So I have a, like a little cheat sheet um, because I, before doing the collage, I like to, to uh, do some layout, play with the shapes and see what works. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to use my favorite Mod Podge, the matte finish. So what I like to do is make it easier for me. Because I have this plastic tub and I will use this to mount the pieces on the paper. So I'm going to have this cheat sheet right, right here. So I'll do my first piece. lay a very thin layer of glue. Okay. Then I just very gently go over the tissue paper with the Mod Podge. And since tissue paper is very fragile, I try not to play with it too much. So the next large piece will be here. Let's do that here. Now sometimes the pieces don't coincide exactly with the plan, but that's okay. Okay, so now on this side, I have this, this piece, which is this, goes right there. the back. 
back of it. And since this is copy paper, it's a little bit stronger than the tissue paper, so I can do the back. here now this piece here is a a red tissue paper which is this one Last piece is right here. Okay. So more or less, this is the general layout of the piece. So I'm going to let this glue dry and I'll be back in uh, a few minutes and finish up this piece. Hi, I'm back. Uh, this time I'm using my uh, overhead hack so you can see both the artwork and my work table. And uh, I wanted to, well, first of all, let me show you the surface of the print now that the glue has dried. And you can see the paper is very flat mounted on the surface of the print and you cannot really see the difference between the glued part and the part that has no glue because the Mod Podge is a matte finish and that's why I like it a lot. So I'm going to add some hand-drawn elements uh, I'm going to use this Sennelier 3D liner. It's kind of like a paint pen. Um, it's like a marker, except that it, it has a very fine nozzle. And it uh, writes a very fine stream of acrylic paint. So it's uh, slightly raised. So I'm going to create a few oval shapes here. Thank you. 
kind of running low. Just squeeze really hard. This is called One for All. It's a paint pen. And it, it's an acrylic based marker. So I'm going to do a little scribble here. I think I'm going to call this piece done. Uh, it just, in my opinion, needed some marks. So here's a close up. Actually, this piece is the orientation is a portrait. Um, because of the shape of the camera, I, I can't uh, have the entire artwork in frame all the time, but you have an idea of the composition and the colors. Here's a close up. You can see the texture done by the jelly plate and see how it works with the collage and the uh, hand-drawn elements. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.